Okay, here's my oak tree, and today I'm going to use it to show you how to structure an essay. Now, I can relate to you all kinds of stories about the oak tree, but what I need is a structure. And, of course, I've talked about chronological order and how we could have the story of a year. But I also could set up the structure with a technique called near to far, high to low, far to near. What do I mean by that? Well, if I look at my backyard and I divide it into three parts, I have the foreground, the material that leads up to the oak tree, I have the oak tree itself in the middle ground, and beyond the oak tree, I have the high school. Behind my house is the high school, and behind the oak tree is a field where the marching band practices, where high school football players practice, where soccer players practice, and so on. The point is that I have divided my story into three parts and I can relate what happens in each of those parts to tell the tale, to create an essay, an essay with a point. Now, it doesn't matter which order I go in, necessarily. To some extent, it makes sense to go near to far, but you could just as easily go far to near, and you also could, with some creativity, start in the middle. As long as you remember to utilize creatively near to far and make sure make sure that it fits under that umbrella of the focus. I can also go, of course, high to low. Up high are where the birds and the squirrels fight for the tippy top power of the branches. Down low, down low is where the squirrels start to climb the tree, where um, the animals run by, I don't know, uh, where the leaves fall. Um, in the middle, of course, is uh, oh that very distinctive quality of this particular oak tree with this twisting branches and limbs. And so again, I can go high to low, low to high. I can start in the middle, I can go to the top, I can go to the bottom. I can even go with more creativity left to right or right to left. The point is that that is an arrangement we call spatial arrangement. It's very useful in setting up the structure of an essay and it, what it does is helps your reader to have a way to be arranged in viewing your essay.